again and welcome back to Revival. Thank God for giving us His grace and His favor. One said if it was not, Sam said if it had not been for the Lord on our side, then, you know, where would we be? We're gonna uh, start out with our children's treat. We're gonna sing Heavenly Sunshine. Heavenly Sunshine, Heavenly Sunshine, on my soul is pure divine. Hallelujah, I rejoice to sing His praises, Jesus is mine. Are you neighbor? Are you neighbor? I like to see.
sing and praise God and for us to feel the presence of God. Um, yeah, so thank you for joining me um, back here and open up your Bible and the children are going to tell you a story. Um, you know, today um, many children, they only grow up with the mother. Um, of course, the mother was the first person they actually saw. Uh, maybe uh, the nurse that delivered them or so, but the mother was there from the beginning. For many children when they were born, they didn't know who their daddy was. And some grew up. Oh, <laughs> uh, got it like a baby now, right? That's supposed to be like this, right? Anyway, <laughs> they grew up that like, even knowing who their dad is, you know, still searching for to find their daddy. And uh, I've had people like that in my life who have been to them like a daddy um, because they they don't have a daddy in their life. Like, so I have um, other children apart from my own. Yeah, anyway, why I'm telling this story is that in this story that you hear about mothers who brought their children to Jesus, but in this story it was a father who brought his child to Jesus. But it was a very terrible situation. You know, when you have um, when you have children when your children are sick and you're a parent, it, it's more a burden to you than even when you are sick. Because, <laughs> you know, for example, you know, if I know if I'm sick, like, say my stomach hurts me, my head hurts me. I've been alive for many years, I know why I could maybe take up and drink it or eat it or something and I would feel better. But when it comes to your child, especially when they're that little, like before they start going to school, it's very bad. They can't even explain what's going on with them. And in this case, this child was sick. The Bible said he used to do some things which were outright crazy. Right? I'm trying to find the story here in Matthew chapter 17. And um, Jesus was on the mountain of transfiguration. He was transfigured with his disciples, with three of his disciples. And his other disciples were down the mountainside fighting with the devil. And the scripture says that um, when Jesus came down from the mountain, right, the scripture said, um, okay, and and um, and the disciples, and when they were come to the multitude. There came unto him a certain man, uh, kneeling down to him and saying, Lord of mercy, my God, is not that a time we use that every day? The Lord of mercy, when something happens, sometimes you can't even, don't even know what to do. He said, Lord of mercy, he said, Lord of mercy on me and, and my son, for he's a lunatic. That means he's gone crazy, right? He's, he's gone mad. I, I've never seen anything like this in my life. And, and um, he said, um, and sore, vexed, uh, for oftentimes he fall into the fire and off into the water. And I brought him to thy disciples, and they could not cure him. I think I've achieved this light. It's too much in my face. And he said that, he brought him to the disciples in his desperation and they couldn't cure him. That time Jesus was on the mountain. So that he tried to arm um, to get he said he's a lunatic, he's gone crazy, he just dropped in the fire, in the water, and anything can just happen. I mean he's terrible. he doesn't know what's going on with the, with the boy. And he said, I don't know what to do. 
So he brought him to the Sabbath and they were fighting with him, but the, the devil would not leave the child alone. So when Jesus saw what was going on, um, I'm sure. I'm a young lady. And he said, so Jesus rebuked the devil and it departed out of him and the child was cured that very hour. So in one case it tells you that the, 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 the devil did not want to leave the child at all, was, was putting up a fight, but it was clear from what it's saying here that the devil was putting up a fight and didn't want to leave the child body uh, leave, get out get out of, the, out of town but when Jesus came and the, 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 the Lord of heaven and earth when he came the devil were terrified <coughs> excuse me oh shucks I don't know they were saying we're in trouble now because here comes a master and when the Lord he asked him he said Lord I'm begging you please Lord of mercy you know, sometimes some things happen um, in life, and you might be a child now. You might, and you might have heard your parents say the very same thing. You might have heard strangers say it, maybe on the street or anywhere, could be even on TV, whatever. But it's a lot of mercy. I mean, it's like, you know, sometimes you see something and you hold your head like this. Even on the road, sometimes you see um, a person crossing the street and you see like a car about to hit them or something, and you do like, it's a lot of mercy, I mean, you know. When the man came, he said, Lord of mercy, please help me, help me, I'm in trouble. I, um, I, I need help, and I need it fast, I need it quickly, I need it right now. I, and, and only you alone can help me. I'm, I'm in trouble with this child. I mean, I'm anxious for this child. At any moment, this child could just, just kill himself, right? And, um, and Jesus saw the situation. He knew what was the problem, and he fixed it for the man. And the Bible said the child was healed from that very hour. All right, so I brought this story as the Lord would have me to choose this story because it tells you of a dad who brought his child to Jesus. All right, so sometimes you might not know where your dad is. Sometimes I know when I'm, um, I know when, when I'm, um, for many daddies, they don't even know what's going on with their children. It's left up to mommy, and mommy must always wake up in the night and be with the headaches and the stomach aches and all of these things. And you know, mommy take them to doctor, take them to the nurse, whatever. But um, in this case, this man didn't allow mommy to have to deal with this burden. He took it himself and said. Let's go to Jesus. And he went there. He was not there, but Jesus came right in time to fix the problem for him. And we thank God that today he's the same God. He will come right in time to fix the problem for us. All right, so see a smile on my face because I, I love the story. I, I never told it in this fashion. I never thought it was a story I could tell children, but of course you see the father and son relationship there, which and I pray that today, if you um, you might not know where your dad is, or uh, have any idea where that is, but um, but, but she prefer to know that it's not always mommies <laughs> take the burden of bringing their child when they're sick. That sometimes that is the because I personally know that I've done it for years and years and years. All right, and to know, and my children when they were sick. They didn't run to their mother, they came to me. Because for some reason, <coughs> I have some simple things that I could tell them to do that fix the problem. And, and um, they're just amazed, you know, simple things that they could do to fix the stomach ache, or headache, or, you know, pain in the foot, and all simple things, right? So God is still alive today. We thank Him for His inspiration. We just want to pray at this time because. We are glad to know that he hears us and he sees our troubles and whenever we um, have problems he will hear and he will save us. Almighty God, our gracious Abba, the great Yahweh who dwell between the cherubim, the Lord of hosts, in your name, you shine forth, that you are your glory. 
Let your glory rest upon us, your light shine out of us. Be exalted, Father of the heavens. Be exalted, Father of the earth. Be exalted, Father of the heavens. Let thy glory be above the clouds, and I have the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Father, we thank you that you have set forth your glory, not only in the heaven above, with the skies, my God, with the sun, with the moon and the, and the stars, my God, in the winds that blow, our Father, in the storm, in the rain, our Father, in the thunder and the lightning. You have set forth your glory, my God, all over in the grass upon the field, my God, even the wheat that grows and the, um, the apples, the mangoes and the trees, my God, you have set forth your glory. Amen. You set forth your glory in the sea, my God, and the waves that rise up and rise and fall, and the waves that, the water that ebbs and flows, and in the, in the rivers that flow, my God, our Father. Amen. The fountains, even water coming out of the rock, my God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen, my God. You are showing your glory to us, my Father, all over this world in many, many ways. My God, amen, that baffled imagination, my God. And sometimes we just take it, people just take it for granted. But it is your power and your glory because mankind cannot do these things, my God. Today we are thanking you that whenever we are in trouble, we can always run to you, my God. Thank you for the daddy, my God. He was in distress. He had no idea what was going on with his child. And there are many parents today are in the very same situation. They were having these problems even before the child was born and sometimes the doctor told them don't bother to have this child, must kill this child in the womb because um, he's going to have problems but they said no, I want to have this child anyway and they have to deal with these problems my God but we thank you that this man in, in, in wisdom, in, in, um, in faith, he came to thee, our father and as he came he got deliverance. Today, Father, we thank you that you're still delivering. Amen. The deliverance is not run out. <laughs> you have all that deliverance still in my God. Amen. You're able to do exceedingly abundantly more than we can ask, I think. So I pray you bless and inspire the children and inspire the parents, my God. Amen. Because sometimes our children, these children will not get to anywhere if their parents are not uh, paying attention, if their parents are not diligent if their parents are not uh, uh, watchful over them, my God, just like this boy, he, he could have perished under the hand of the adversary, but his parent was watching what was going on with him. Some, peer, some people today in their adulthood, in their own lives have been, have been plagued by the adversary, and I personally am thinking about it, I know those things right now. And I, I know if, they, if their parents had just seen what the problem was, and I brought the case to thee, my God, and I dealt with it that way, then their lives would have had a total, totally changed. But sometimes today, people are just concerned about giving them food to eat, which is good, and sending them to school. But there are things going on inside of their life, my God, where the devil want to make a foothold, the whole onto their life to imprison them, my God. So they are still going on, but they are a host for the devil. Oh my God, how many times I've seen these things that baffle the imagination, but I've seen them in real life. So Father, I pray for the children that even yeah, their parents will be diligent and be faithful to see these things, my God, and to that. Bring them to Jesus. Bring it all to Jesus. Give them all to Jesus, our Father. I pray that you bless us to live for thee. Cause us to rise up before thee, establish our going up and coming in. Grant that the purpose of our lives accomplishing us for time and to eternity, our Father. And cover the blood of the great eternal land. Cover the mighty wings of great eternal land. Go before us the pillar of fire by night, pillar of fire by day, our Father. Save, save, save to the uttermost. Save us in your kingdom and our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shall come in glory. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord Yeshua, we shall the great. Amen. Sing a little bit. Go ahead, see it for finish. Clap your hand.
to them today. The children of the street. May God bless you. Amen. May God bless you.